I'm going to explain in this video um, what requirements a property has to meet in order to be a candidate to install a sewer backflow preventer. Now, more and more, these dramatic weather events are occurring and people are getting a greater interest in putting in a sewer backflow preventer, either a floodgate valve or a sewer check valve. So there are certain basic requirements that your home has to meet. And this is, we'll just say this is your home, this is your basement, and we're going to say that this is your underground sewer system, that's your house trap going back. In order to put in a sewer valve, be it a floodgate valve or a check valve, which goes in front of the trap over here, your house sewer cannot take any rainwater flow at all. Because when this valve closes and the water will not go into your house, the water will also not go out of your house. So you can't have rain leader connections, you know, roof leader connections. You can't have backyard area drains connected in, and you can't even have area drains in the front of the house that are connected in behind the trap. Because when it rains, it will go down your house drain, that valve will be closed, and the water will have no place to go. In certain instances, you have to check with local code, you may be able to disconnect your roof leader lines. You have to make sure that's legal. Um, you may have an area drain outlet that takes rainwater. You may be able to put an awning on top of it so it's not needed anymore. But the last thing you want to do is put in a sewer gate valve or a sewer floodgate valve and still get flooded because of your house sewers taking all of this rainwater. So be careful before you proceed. I uh, hope that helps you out there, and thank you for listening.